Candles, my newest obsession in Minecraft, and I love them. In this video I'm going to show you 10 ways how to use candles to make beautiful things in Minecraft. <laughs> First thing, you can use the candles as on, on little candle holders, so either on the ball like this, where in all of them you kind of at least on this one you have to place the candle first and then place uh, the lever. Or you can use them on little candle holders like this or reversed or the bigger one. Or you can even use them on some iron bars. They also look really nice so, that way. Or you can also use them on end rods um, or on reversed end rods. And I think this kind of looks like uh, a sword as well, depending on kind of the candle that you use. So first use is kind of these different um, candle holder types. And obviously like to place this one you have to place a block above it and then um, place it under to get like this reversed look. And I think it looks really nice because the transition is really well between these. Um, you can even, I think you can get away with two candles maybe. <sighs> I think honestly like three looks even better than two, but uh, I would just do one because I think it looks the best. So coming to the first floor of the building, we have another use of the candle, which is on, well obviously on cake, <laughs> so you can have actually a candle on cake, but if you eat a piece of it, the candle pops off immediately. Another use is as a ketchup bottle. I think you can do the same as like a, 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 a mayonnaise bottle. I think that works as well. Um, you can place them on plants. They look really good on, on bamboo as they transition very smoothly. You can place them on uh, cactus as a little cactus sprout. You can place them on azalea as a little flower. Um, you could also use this candle on this one. So you have a little cactus flower, or um, this one works a little less well, but if you look at it from above, it lo looks quite good. As a little uh, sprout of this uh, nether, nether orb roots, yes. Another way is obviously the can, uh, the the chandeliers. They look so much better now. Um, as the candle will really fit this. So if you're going for a medieval build or something, I would really recommend doing one of these uh, chandeliers as they work so well with it. So you can see like this little bit medieval area and a candle uh, and, and a candle chandelier just works so good. In the desert, you can use them above cactuses to kind of give like these cacti flower, cactus flower uh, vibes. And uh, obviously you have to, like to place a block because you can't place them on cactus itself. So you have to see it doesn't work. So you kind of have to have a placeholder block where you place them on top. And that's like for pretty much all of them. Yes, I think that looks really well as well. I think that works quite good. Another way is for these um, spore blossoms you can if you are kind of want to have a floating if you're like going for a fantasy area and you kind of want to have these floating spore blossoms um, you can place a, a green candle on top and it kind of looks like a step like a <laughs> it kind of makes the, the floating the floating spore blossom first of all possible and second uh, I think it works quite well with it Another use of the candle is on walls. So depending on kind of the, the type of wall, so I'm using blackstone here for instance, or uh, deep slate, or you can also use andesite and normal stone brick. And um, then you can use these candles to kind of add decorations onto these walls. And I think it looks really nice. And you can even use like string to kind of give an alteration between normal, uh, wall bits and then candle wall bits or you can even not do it. I think it looks fine either way. You can kind of follow the same idea with uh, spruce fences and some candles on top of it. I think that looks really nice as well. 
especially I think maybe like uh, for pig pens or uh, for a bridge or maybe like uh, even if you make it higher for like a fancier kind of gate gate thing I think it looks it would look really nice I can also place them on iron bars like uh, gray ones if you want, for instance want to make a, a prison gate or something if we go over to the swamp now we'll see another use of the candles as reeds if you place them on uh, green stained glass panes you can get kind of an impression of reeds or you can use other um, other candles or other glass paints to kind of just kind of make them uh, some greenery with it but I think the, the reeds look really nice and uh, I think they work quite well in the swamp but um, on a pond or near a river they work quite well as well so as you can see here and since that's near a river, I think it works quite well as well. So the final use of these we switch tonight is um, to make a, kind of make a floating lanterns. And I think they look like these, uh, they kinda, with a lot of imagination, they look like uh, these uh, candles that you put in like a, a paper thing and then it starts to float. I don't know if you guys know what I mean, but uh, I think it kind of looks like it. And so this allows us to kind of create these floating lanterns with it and by just placing a, a candle in the air and then uh, adding a lantern. Obviously if you break the candle, the lantern will break as well. So yes, I think this kind of makes can make an area pretty magical. Especially I think over water would look fine. But uh, honestly, uh, anyway, I think it, it also looks good with, uh, for instance, a uh, kind of view over over a house for instance now. I think that looks quite nice as well. This has been the top 10 candle design ideas that you can do to use more candles in your own world. I hope you liked the video. Uh, if you did, consider subscribing and don't forget to like. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching and see you in the next video. Bye bye!